the 50 seconds and an 18 year old taken to the field to try to become a legend. And Robinson comes down with it at the one yard line. Quarterback sneak, the freshman, touchdown. It's just short. It is blocked. Delphi to the edge. Penn State returning to action two weeks after the amazing Triple OT win over Michigan, a game that came on the heels of their first ever loss to Indiana. Big difference in those two games, the defense gave up nearly a yard less per carry against the Wolverines than they did against the Hoosiers, nearly 100 fewer passing yards, and did something they haven't done much this season. They forced some turnovers. And now the challenge for Penn State is the undefeated Buckeyes of Ohio State. Back on BTN Live, Dave Revson, and Jerry DiNardo and Chuck Long. And here to talk this game over with us is Penn State's leading tackler, linebacker Glenn Carson. Glenn, you guys had the benefit of a bye week after that dramatic win over Michigan. So you've had a little bit of extra time here to digest Ohio State. What do you see when you watch the Buckeyes offense on tape? It's a really talented offense. Braxton Miller obviously causes some trouble when he gets outside the pocket. He's just a playmaker, and we just have to do a good job containing him and just keeping him under control. Glenn, no question, Ohio State's got some really talented guys, and I, I would imagine you've talked a lot about stopping those players, but give us more about the scheme. Every good defensive game plan starts with what do we have to stop to win the game. Give us maybe the top two or three plays that you have to stop to win the game. Oh, obviously the quarterback option as well as they got a great running back and a quarterback that can run. And when you have a quarterback that can run, it obviously creates more trouble because there's an extra runner uh, on the field. So we have to make sure that, you know, everybody's accounted for, um, stop their run. Hyde's a great running back. And as well as uh, Braxton can throw the deep ball well. So we have to make sure that we are on top of that as well. Hello, Glenn. You've, you've already played Devin Gardner in Michigan, and now you're playing. You've seen some tape on Braxton Miller. Is there a difference between the two? And if so, what is that difference that you've seen on tape? Um, you know, I, I, I couldn't say too much what, what, the, uh, what the difference between the two. I could just say that they're both playmakers, and when they get out of the pocket, they are able to make uh, a little play turn into a, a really big play. So both quarterbacks, you have to make sure that you contain and keep an eye on, the, eye, eye on them throughout the entire game. Penn State and Ohio State, Saturday night in Columbus. We are joined by Glenn Carson here on BTN Live. Dave Revson alongside Chuck Long and Jerry DiNardo. Glenn, you've had the week off. I'm interested in when you installed the defensive game plan. Would you, what did you do during the off week? How much of it was Ohio State? And how much of it was it just practice and, and maybe taking a little bit of a break? Uh, we definitely started to digest Ohio State a little bit in the in the bye week, but mostly the bye week is it's all about getting healthy and, and going back to fundamentals and make sure that you know you get those fundamentals down, you get your guys back healthy. But yeah, it's something that we've been looking at all week, but we're really diving into it. You know, um, started yesterday and and rolling in through the week. Uh, Glenn, everybody talks about offense. Uh, and offense and how they add plays as the year goes on and add to their system. Let's talk defense. Do you guys add blitz packages or any tweaks during the course of the year? Or are you just basically running your base defense and getting better at that? Uh, you kind of try to throw in as much as you can uh, in the off season during camp. You kind of, you just try to put in all the defenses as possible. So that way each week you can kind of pick and choose from the basket of defenses that you have. but. Uh, every once in a while, you'll throw a little tweaks in there, have something that's a little bit new, but usually, you know, you have a, a large amount of defenses that you can call, and you kind of just pick and choose between the weeks. Uh, you mentioned the defense and the changes during the course of the season. How much have things changed from year to year with John Butler in charge now? Um, not a whole ton. He's He was able to kind of keep it simple, but... Um, continue to kind of keep the same defense that we've had in the past and everybody's on board with what coach Butler says I think that the defense really enjoys playing for him so we're just really excited to have uh, coach Butler as our defensive coordinator and uh, excited to get on the field with him every Saturday. 
Well, we're looking forward to seeing you get on the field this Saturday against the Buckeyes. Should be a great game at the shoe. Glenn Carson, congratulations on your year to this point. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.